Yep. Yeah. Pinged her. <clears throat> you ready? Do you know anything about this? And I said pinged her. <laughs> or like. Nope. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan. I'm Sean. <laughs> Today. Tonight. And we, uh, this evening. Yeah. Yesterday's afternoon. We're going to drink some whiskey. This whiskey. It's called the Rabbit Hole. I just. Oh my God. Founders Collection. The Freedom Ring. <laughs> So. Okay, so what? Well, really hole. thought you just hit me in the face at that. I'm like a bartender. I'm a cocktail master. Yeah, now. you're Tom Cruise and cocktail, all right? Bar, box, nope, damn it, rabbit hole. Let me tell you a thing or two. Whoa, oh. did you see that? It'll be in the video and it will be extra zoomed Whoa, in. Whoa, it for... went into my eyeball. Okay. All right. So back to real life. You are the dirty one here. That's oh. why they're just following you I around. I did just shred. Right, here you go. Oh. <laughs> This is the greatest cork of all time. It's like solid brass. It's uh, gold. Said someone thing. Solid brass. Said gold. Okay, it's painted it. gold. I don't know what you want. From Might me. be wrapped in gold. Okay, so this nice. is the new the limited new release new. bottle from Rabbit Hole. Yeah. As far as I know, this is kicking off the the founders. This collection. This is the first yeah. one they've done. Um, I believe this is actually going to be a line in the future. So this is the Boxer Grail Founders Collection. Comes in this fancy, oh, no, beautiful I box I I with a beautiful rabbit on the front. The packaging on this bottle? On point. I give yeah. that off. 10 we got, out of 10 uh, stars. I mean, the, the sash is a nice embossed. What, what's it? Raised. Yeah. So this this is raised yeah. and then the rabbit's the rabbit embossed. embossed. And then this is raised. And it's, it's got the heaviest stopper known to man. The glass is nice and heavy. The stopper is nice and heavy. It feels fancy. It's got a bottle number out of 1315. There's only 1315 bottles of this made. I didn't know that. You, it's labeled on the back, which one you get, which is super cool. Um, Look at that. It's honestly a fantastic looking yeah. bottle of whiskey. That's good. Now, one thing I want to say before we get farther. What? What I think is so you cool. You can talk Move more? Your glass. Move your glass. Oh, I can talk forever. I was gonna grab that bottle. Is that how it goes? So the they actually they actually line up. So if you have them next to each other, it looks the best ever. The forethought that had to have gone in this bottle, hundred percent. Happy A plus. They were like, oh, we didn't even know they did that. They're gonna watch this video and be like, I didn't know <laughs> they, they did that. They're uncovering secrets. Okay, so. Uh, so this is a six-year cast strength yep. rye whiskey. That is Rabbit Hole's distillate. Yeah. This 57. bottle. Seven point three proof. We have to tell oh. the people. It, this was not paid for by us. No. This was sent to us by Rabbit Hole. Now, in the past, if you do watch our older Rabbit Hole videos, the black label and the green label. We called Yum. We're not big fans. They were also like two to four year bourbon. And very expensive. And 60-ish dollars. Yeah. So, this. You know the price tag on this? Did I? Yeah, I do. What is it? I'll tell you later. Not low. Mind you, oh, very limited packaging's dude. on point. Cast That's strength six year rye. It smells really good. It smells fantastic to me special occasion rye hands down yeah. if you hand me this and we were like hey this is a, a nice fancy rye and yeah. you're like wow that smells great fancy delicious mm. smells rich it's kind of got almost that like ginny botanical oh. notes in it you know what i'm saying nope. my nose is fresh as hell i haven't nope. drank for a week nope oh we gotta get that malort it's in the truck i'm good <laughs> um did you imagine malort before this uh, you get no botanicals out of this this would stand up in my opinion we haven't done them blind it would stand up to owls to me i i literally would think this is a, an owl if okay. you handed me this blind and you were like this is a, owl a rye. special occasion rye yeah i'd be like oh owl. so this is actually kentucky rye because they're in kentucky and it's not sourced there aren't a lot of kentucky rye that's why wild turkey's cornerstone was such a big deal it's because it's from kentucky it's not sourced from indiana or tennessee yeah so I'm just going in. There's there are layers. To there, this there's now. the mo it's how just, many? It's, it's like how, how long do you want to pick it apart? That's what it feels like. You know what I'm saying? I haven't given a single note. I keep calling it botanical. I think there's a, a grape laffy taffy in there. I hate the fact that you said laffy. I wasn't gonna say grape. I hadn't narrowed down which laffy taffy it was. It's yet. grape. I literally smelled went. Am I getting laffy taffy? Grape laffy taffy. Okay, no, unfortunately, I'm right. I'm not gonna agree, but it smells a lot like purple Laffy Taffy. <laughs> so, oh yeah, yeah, and you that, know the purple. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that the other one, not the, grape. Yeah, the schmape. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I mean, you could have called it Black Karam. <laughs> I mean, and then closer than Schmape. How's it feel? I could smell this all day. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh my gosh. Now it does drink like a barrel proof whiskey. Mm. It's very warm. Um, <clears throat> oily as hell. Super mm. oily, super rich. Ooh. The rye spice, we call this the lingerer, dude. Yeah. Do you know how to spell lingerie? Sure. It, you know how your mind, if you see lingerie and linger next to each other, they may, and your brain may go, whoop, whoop. Well, you know, one ends I. with an R. Right, one ends with an E. Yeah. But they're very close. This is a lingerie, you know what I mean? Like it, like there's just. Okay. You know? Listen, um, this, there's like a, a nice sprinkle of barrel char in the, the finish, but it's just super like toasty rye. Yeah, and the most baking spices ever. ever. I get a little bit of that ever. like toasty marshmallow-ish, like right, flash in the pan up front. You get it on like the this, nose now? I think I do. Um, it's super sweet. But it took literally drinking it to get that note out. But there's just like a little rush of sugar up front and then it just gets bulldozed by rye spice. But that's how it always works. You yeah. take a drink and when you smell it, you start to smell different stuff because oh, yeah. you tasted it, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's influences back and forth, but yeah, this definitely drinks like a barrel proof rye, like you said. I'm Woo. gonna be honest. I definitely prefer this over Michter's 10 rye, 100%. I think there's more substantial flavors in this. I'd than, say uh, the that, M10 rye. Do you think that crushes Parker's heritage? That would be one for the ages. It would be, because in was my like head our, it does. That was like our number one rye of last the year. year. All right, we got Glenn's too. I'm gonna bring this out. This was our number one rye of last year, the <clears throat> Parker's Heritage eight year heavy chop yes. rye. That, actually, not that far apart in age. This is- Six. Two years apart. Um, no, 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 I'm saying that's six. That's today. eight, yeah. 57.3 yeah. is watt proof. That's dusty. 115 inch. 7.4. 57? Oh, I thought you said 53. 57.3. Oh, yeah, 105, 104.5, six something. I don't even know what is happening right now. It's 115-ish, 114.6. Yeah, I'm not carrying the one. I, I, you know, listen, Sean hasn't had alcohol in a week. Give him a break. I did the He's, math. His brain's stopped for 53.7, yeah. and I had you say Three it times. four times yeah. <laughs> of what it was. And I was like, yup, 53.7. Okay. So. This is, they're pretty close in proof. This is a little oh, higher in proof. I'm cutting all that. That's all behind the scenes. That's got this, man. You're just spark knocking hard too. Okay. Okay, which one, which, where'd you pour this? Right here? Where's my rabbit hole? In your hand. Okay. That's the Parker's. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just confirming. All I, I'm doing is I confirming. I it. I'm confirming. This is a scientific oh. experiment. One of our favorite ryes, probably. Wow, yeah. okay, so Drastically I know you different. were saying like no botanicals on the nose. Sure. Smell them back to back. It jumps out, that's Parker's and the A. That, don't, that smells like permanent marker compared to that rabbit hole. What? Yep, nailed it. No. Oh, it does. It's got orange zest notes on it the, now. The botanical notes, I think like almost that evergreen just kind of pops on that stuff. Dude, that the Parker's makes it smell better. And in in the Parker's nose has always, always blindly been you one of the best rise nose. On you said citrus coming hole. back to it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. A lot. Yeah, it stands out. A lot. Pledgy, almost. You never. How dare you? Oh, pine Pledgy. salt. That's what I mean. You ever, no, you ever those are chemicals. Your, yeah, you ever clean your house with pine salt? It smells delicious. Parker's. Doesn't. It doesn't smell chem chemically. You know what I mean? Chemically? Yep. Um, wow. It smells like orange zest. Like uh, it smells like the orange was the peel was twisted for your old fashioned, oiled on the rim, and then dropped into the old fashioned. Okay, oiled, oiled on. They the oil rim. them. Oiled. They squeeze them like we do our swordfish oil, right? Mm -hmm. And then they rim it. Yeah. And then they dump her. Yeah. Oil. They, they twist it to get the oil to extract the oils. So it's oiled. I feel those are super mood dependent. Uh, I no, like them both. Not you even, like this one a lot more? Not even close. Yeah. I think there's a lot more going on on this a one. A thousand percent. Um, this is a, this 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 has knocked this down like three notches. But for I me. think if we if I just want a nice higher proof rye, it's a good sipper, nice and chill. 
I go with the Parker's Heritage. I'm gonna be honest though. It's amazing. Cause I agree, but it's easier th to drink. This feels more of what I want when I want a, a cash strength rot. This feels more of what I want when I pay it's these totally prices. Weird. That's true. Right, so it's that's weird. my issue is this, if I want oh. like an easy drinking rye, I can get a 110 proof for way cheaper than that. And I can sure. refine them. Sure. Hell, you can, get, you can get Willet four you years. You can get Pikesville for that. Yeah, you can get Willet four years for, you can get three of them for one of these. Yeah. You get what, three Pikesvilles for one of those? Dude, those bone snappers, you can get a mm. bunch of bone snappers for one of those. Dude, <clears throat> okay, that. This is gone, see really you later, nice. dude. That's whiskey of not this year, I can tell you that. If that was made this year, it'd be in trouble right now because <clears throat> of the old rabbit hole. Hmm? Honestly, when you put them together. coming from not loving rabbit hole products in the past. Uh, as people that have public, oh, that was so good together. Publicly, you know, kind of dumped on them a little bit. I feel this is a hell of a comeback bottle yeah. for us. Yeah. Like personally. This, well, this is what they can do because yeah, this is that's their good. distillate. Yeah, yeah, that's really, really good. Yeah. Just do that. Well, we also said asterisk on it because we said they were young. Yeah. I was, I like the uh, PX Sherry a lot more oh than yeah did. that's true and i was like i'm excited to see what happens in years to come mm -hmm. if this is laying down the foundation of that bravo keep making good here's whiskey. what here's what i'll say about this this being the founders collection this is the first of the series yeah if this is their this is their kicking off their founders collection i'll buy the next one now yeah because this one's so damn good yeah 195 dollar retail <clears throat> okay i was actually special, figuring worse special yeah. When you were like, I'll tell you later. Well, some of their rabbit like, holes right. are some of the rabbit holes are sixty to eighty, and those yeah. aren't they're limited, right? So two hundred dollars. So. That that literally is meant to compete with Kentucky Owls. Yep. Meant to be compete Parkers. with the Carters, the Parkers. Yep. Um, Victor's Ten Rise one eighty. I mean, it's it's in the listen. This is not outside of its wheelhouse price wise. A minus. I would say, uh, I say A minus only because price. That's it. I know, but only because like, I've the had only, the old Carter next to it. Yeah, that's the only thing I really dock it on. Is, I it is God. expensive. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a, that's a amazing. Bottle. And uh, here's what I will say: I the packaging. Like. That's their family crest, I think, or something like that. Oh, that's awesome. It's so good. You guys did such a good job. Yeah. I don't. I'm a big glass bottle fan. You fancy it up? I wash my hands of this. The proof station. Oh, that's how we can do it. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Helps us out a ton. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon. Am I missing anything? They're good together. No, they're not. Thanks for watching. We love you. Thank you, Ramble Hall, for sending us this ball. For yeah. real, this is amazing. Until next time. See you next Tuesday, Monday, Thursday, Thursday. whatever, oh, whatever day you want to yeah. tune in.